We're only a few months away from WrestleMania, so everybody's starting to slowly take a look ahead, especially knowing this is a milestone WrestleMania, if you will, WrestleMania 40 next year in Philly. I guess not an insignificant thing, right? Like this is a milestone mania. So fans are probably going to look ahead a little bit more to that show. I know I certainly am. I can imagine WWE is going to try out, pull out more of the stops than they usually would for a mania because it's a milestone show. Um, that said, though, as of the, I sit right now, there's not a lot for me to get excited about for next year's WrestleMania. Sure sounds like The Rock's not going to be there. And certainly doesn't sound like he's going to be facing Roman Reigns. It's going to be Cody Rhodes finishing the story and I could give fuck all else about that. Nah, I'm good. Now if you want to say like CM Punk versus Seth Rollins... If that's a mania match that they're doing, okay. Like, yeah, that might be okay, right? But it doesn't really move me. If you say, well, if there's any belief in any recent rumors around CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin, 10, 11 years ago, that would have done something for me. Now, not so much. You know, when I look at mania, you no longer have an Undertaker match to focus on every year. There's not a lot that excites me there. Some might say Bianca and Rhea Ripley, if they face off, okay, I could maybe see that, right? Um, Jay Cargill gets a WrestleMania match. I certainly will be interested to see that. But there's not a lot right now. If Brock Lesnar comes back, who gives a shit? I could go on and on. Jimmy versus Jay, okay, there's a lot of story there. Maybe, right? But does that really move you? Like, is that one that makes you say, oh my God, I've got to see it. Oh my God, I need this with every single fiber of my flipping being. The answer to any of those matches as you look ahead to WrestleMania next year is no, 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 hell no, no. But there is one match. There is one match. One match that does it for me. That you know deep, deep down in the cacklest of cackles of your soul. You not only want, but you need. The world needs this. The world needs John Cena versus Randy Orton one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania 40. Any of you that are going to take to the comments of this video right now and say, hell no, you know you're lying. Because deep, deep down in your heart, you want this. You need this. You got to have this. One more time at Mania. Breakfast Club business reigning supreme. Are you fucking kidding me? And I know you're going to get a lot of different retorts or attempted reluctance or rebuttals to this. Those guys have wrestled so many times over the years. And how many times have these guys wrestled one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania? The answer is effing zero. John Cena's faced The Rock twice in a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania. Yet did it zero times with Randy Orton. One triple threat match. That doesn't even count because fuck triple threat matches. These two guys that are arguably the two biggest names of their particular eras along with like Batista and Edge, right? They certainly are in that category. They're the guys... That you look at the decade of doom of the breakfast club, they're the ones you most closely associate with the WWE. These two guys never faced off at Mania for a company that used to get it so right. Hogan Andre, Hogan Macho Man, Hogan Warrior. 
Brett and Sean, Sean and Austin. They did Austin and Rock three fucking times at Mania. Triple H and Taker worked three separate times at Mania together. Taker and HBK twice. But not once did anybody in that company over the years think that these two guys should go one-on-one at WrestleMania? What were you afraid of? The politics? The backstage business? Fuck, we need some of that right now, damn it! Like, I don't ask for a lot when it comes to wrestling. Same thing with life. And Lord knows, Lord knows. Even with as little as I ask for, I get even less, so I still end up disappointed. But this is one we've got to have, folks. I need this. I want this. Got to have this. And so do you. Oh, you faced all these times. You can literally bill this as once in a lifetime because it, with respect to these two guys, it would be a once in a lifetime one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania. This time it counts. And you could argue it would be the biggest match of their careers. Bragging rights, WrestleMania 40. Now, I know some of you are going to sit there and say, well, it would be better if they were both 16-time world champions and wrestling for a vacant title to win number 17. Uh, I haven't done my fantasy booking video on this yet, bitches, so just pop your brakes. To those that are going to sit there and say, well, you know, that's a waste of those two guys because they could wrestle younger talent and put other guys over. You know what I say? Fuck that. The future is now. These two guys are only in their 40s. They got their best years ahead of them, damn it! And if AEW's got the young lions that are all set to roar, the WWE has to let the kids play here. This whole shit about, oh, you have Cena and Orton put other people over? Fuck that. Cena's lost too many big singles matches recently. That shit doesn't matter as much anymore. You need to get the most you can out of Cena. Same thing with Orton. You need to get the most out of him. And when you're talking about the hype, the build up to WrestleMania 40, Randy Orton versus John Cena is going to deliver the fucking goods, I promise you. With where these two guys are at in their freaking careers, they don't give a shit. In probably all of the best ways that the Breakfast Club can. So John Cena is going to do everything he can to bury Randy Orton on the mic. Randy Orton's going to do everything he can to bury John Cena on the mic. Like that shit would be fantastic. What match are you possibly going to offer up for a John Cena at WrestleMania that would be better than this one? None. For those that are going to sit there and say, oh, Randy Orton, CM Punk would be big. Fuck that. That can wait till later. Nothing has the history, the story, that an Orton versus Cena does. To have these two young kids, if you will, <laughs> in the peak of their careers, with so much history behind them, Facing off one-on-one -on -one to say who is the better man. Not to mention the fact if you make it some type of like career or retirement match type of stipulation. Holy shit, all of a sudden people give a fuck. And you know what? Fuck everybody else, this is about me. This is about what I need. This is about what I want. For those of you that are conflicted. And you say, I thought you hated these two guys and they have for a long time. Yeah, so what? For those of you that have said, didn't you used to bitch about how often those guys would face off against each other? Yeah, so what? Then why would you sit there and want to see this match? My question back to you is, why the hell wouldn't you want to see this? Imagine the shots they're going to take at each other. Imagine how you're going to feel 
when you think about all the history these two guys have had together and it dawns on you like, holy shit, it's really stupid this company never did these two face off one on one at WrestleMania. We need to do it. We got to have it. And frankly, I need something to come on here and have fun with for the next four damn months. Give me what I want, WWE. Give me what I want. It's John Cena versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania with Triple H as a special, special guest referee. Run-ins by Shawn Michaels and Batista. You fucking ain't right. You can take every other match at WrestleMania by comparison and pound him straight up your keister because nothing can master up to this one. God damn it. You know this shit would be epic. The Philly crowd. The thought of Cena versus Orton one more time. Once in a lifetime. This time it counts. If you're not down with that, then fuck you. I need this, damn it. Let's make this shit happen. John Cena, Randy Orton, WrestleMania 40. And how appropriate would it be have these two guys main event right night one so CM Punk comes back to WWE, faces off with Seth Rollins for the title, and he's the semi-main event on night one. Man, that would be fantastic. It would be so perfect WWE in so many damn ways. It's 2024 coming up. We still need the Breakfast Club to do some business here, damn it. WWE, give me what I want!